Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Hey everybody, what's up? Hi! Welcome back. Hi! I didn't even leave! Welcome back to Rainy Fungi Forest. I didn't even leave! Look at that two-dimensional rain. I didn't leave. So realistic. I didn't leave. Um... Wow. Yeah, you, you got like a million coins. I know. That's awesome. Humming ammo! Yeah! Yeah, baby. Um... All kinds of shooters now packed home, which I just get some red stuff like right? Yeah, baby. All right, so um, I have an interesting thing to talk about this episode. Talk it, about it, baby. It has to do with Banjo Kazooie. Okay. So <laughs> what made rem what reminded me of this was uh, so my good friend Joe, th thumbs up master. Mm -hmm. He uh, he's a guy who makes a lot of Banjo Kazooie related videos. Oh on, really? On his YouTube channel, I've I've actually been watching his. Let's link it here. I've been watching his stuff ever since before Nuts and Bolts came out. Oh, okay. Um, he has some, like, really, really well... You've talked to him before? Yeah, actually, we I messaged him on Twitter recently saying, oh. Hey, dude, I love your stuff. I, I still have fond memories of some of your YouTube videos. Like, he, he made this one video... He made these two videos all about Stop and Swap and how oh, obsessive yeah? and dumb, like, Banjo community members can get, thinking what like, Oh, this one thing right here means this. Like, people have been looking for stop and swap answers for several years, but still couldn't find them. Nice, Christian. They keep... I think you just gotta butt slam them. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, he posted something on Twitter. Oh, yeah? Uh, so he said... Hashtag Twitter drama! This is him just... Oh, what a relief, yo. I don't like it here anymore. It's always raining. Take me to a nice sunny spot somewhere else, and the banana's yours. Oh, baby! <laughs> Nice, cute little guy. Careful now, Chunky! I don't want any bruises! <laughs> 360 Slam! How the hell do you know his name? I don't know. Oh, not here. You gotta go back to the hub world. Wait, the hub world? Yeah, you, or, uh, I mean, <laughs> you gotta go back to the entrance where the clock is. Don't I have to bring a seed over here or something? Yeah, later you do. Okay, but anyways, so Joe recently posted on Twitter saying... Th this was kind of like a passive-aggressive, uh... angry tweet about Rare. Mm -hmm. A new Banjo Kazooie game? <laughs> no thanks. Also, buy our Banjo statues, plushies, and DLC for a game that isn't Banjo Kazooie. Also, like our tweets while we capitalize on your nostalgia. Here's Conquer fan art. No where click do, away, do loyal this? fans. Where do I take this? Uh, to the. Did I just go the whole wrong way? That whole no, time? no, no. You're going the right way. Right here. So yeah, like Joe. Right was... Yes, yes, of course. So yeah, Joe was Joe's like a little upset about that, and frankly, I don't blame him. Yeah. So here's the thing. He shared this video with uh, Greg Males, the director of Banjo Kazooie, mm -hmm. and the director of Sea of Thieves, just one of the head dudes at Rare. Okay. He he and some other Rare staff were answering questions at this museum for video games, I think. And one person at the end asked, you know, the question that all Rare fans love to ask them. He asked, why did you make banjo kazooie nuts and bolts a vehicle game instead of banjo 3d yeah. you're just watching the video you can look at greg and tell he was just like oh again. god not this <laughs> fucking question again <laughs> i'm sure just like every fucking day yeah because like, ama hey i was wondering when is banjo 3d coming out why did you make a vehicle game People just constantly just begging for Banjo 3E, and frankly, I don't blame them. I know, I understand. Why don't they make Banjo 3E? Well, see, here's the thing. So, he answered the question and said, well, like, this is me paraphrasing and summing it up in quicker words, but he said, well, I, I just got tired of, you know, just the, of making That's the purple. same game. Yeah, it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> Colorblind Elliot. Um... He, he, he said, I, did, I just got tired of making the same game. I just didn't want to make another platformer. I mean, we talked about remaking the first game and mm -hmm. switching things up, but then we were like, no, nah, let's just make a new game. So I realized that I just wanted to make this vehicle customization game. And honestly, I absolutely love it. I'm super proud of it. Um, it's it's a shame it didn't sell super well, but I'm, I still absolutely love that game, and I'm very proud of our work on it. I, I mean, I love that game. We, I've told you that before. Oh, you love it? Yeah. You don't like it? You love it? Yeah, dude. Wow. I Damn, it. I didn't know you loved it. Probably said I like it before, but that doesn't mean I didn't love it. Yeah, I, I love that game. I, uh, that's actually, you know, that's actually one of my pet peeves. <laughs> what? When people say they like something, and it's like, but you didn't love it? Oh. That means, that means it wasn't that good. 
What? You, you no. just liked it? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> it's a weird thing in my brain. Oh. Yeah, but, but anyways. How um, do I get the fucking seed? You get it somewhere else. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, after seeing that video, I was like, huh, you know what? If he didn't have the- Apex Legends. <laughs> if he didn't have the creative drive, just or just didn't want to make another Banjo platforming game, that's fine. That I'm, is fine. I mean, it's disappointing for the fans, because yeah. we've been begging for it for like, Almost two decades now. Yeah. I mean, we got you Is he still making video games? Yeah, he, he's he's dr the director of Sea of Thieves. Oh, oh, right. You told me that. Yeah. Um. I heard that game's really fun, too. All right. We're, we're done with everything, mostly until night mode, right? I think so. Did you go through the pink gate? No. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is that the mushroom <laughs> that tower? That might be... This is where we entered, I think. Um. Like, this might be the level entrance, you know? No, it's not. There's a... It, it's supposed to be a DK uh, portal, remember? Yeah, I thought you go through to a DK. Oh wait. No, not here. Okay, yeah, we've already. Oh, you gotta go in there. Yeah, that's because that's where the, the rabbit is. is. But I thought that was a night gate, and then you teleport to it during the day. I don't remember. Well, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so seeing that video made me realize. So rare. Whenever people oh. ask them, like, can you guys make Banjo three or make another Conquer game? They always say things like. Well, I mean, oh, okay. maybe someday. I mean, we can't make any promises, but mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. When really, what Greg wants to say is, I just don't want to do it. Yeah. I just don't want to make it. Because if he, I'm sure... Why he... don't they let someone else make it? I know yeah, it, I, know. I know it's his baby and shit, but if he's done with it, like, why don't? Why doesn't he just pass the torch? Yeah, I know, dude. I mean... That's what I don't get. I'm sure someone else could make another game and make it somewhat faithful to the originals. I mean, we have Ukulele, and I, I can only assume they're working on a sequel right now. Yeah, Ukulele was good. Um, Just, I don't think it was as good as Banjo Kazooie. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't think it was as good. But yeah, so just the entire time, whenever people are asking oh, them, God. It, it's like I feel like they're not being honest when they say, "Oh, maybe." I just can't help but say, like, feel like they're they just don't want to make the games that a lot of fans want. Well, so, also at a company, you know, you're bound by NDA, it's possible that they are making it, or they are exploring that, but, you know, you're yeah, that's bound true. not it to is. tell, because then, I, I don't know, yeah, you're divulging, diverge, divulging, div giving away? Giving away info. <laughs> but, like, it, also, if they were to just say, no, I just don't want to make it, sorry, that would disappoint a lot of fans, I think. Just m mentioning it publicly like that and saying, nope, we don't want to. That yeah. would probably just disappoint a lot of people. Though, frankly, I think leaving them in the dark is probably worse. worse. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I'm glad I watched that video because it cleared some things up. Like, okay, so they just didn't want to make... Well, at least Greg. Blue? Yeah, that's blue. Because I know Grant Kirkhope supposedly was uh, opposed to the vehicle game. He was just like, guys, let's just make Banjo 3. Uh -huh. There uh, Apparently, there was a lot of... Uh, disagreements at Rare when oh. they were working on Nuts and Bolts, so... Huh. I can't say for sure. I don't work at Rare, but... Yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. You fly down to the UK every... for every weekday, in right? in the UK? Yep. Yeah, Rare's in the UK. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I work. Oh, this is where the Owl minigame is, too. So yeah, but yeah... The, Wait, where is he? Go check out that video if you're curious. It's very, uh... It's very enlightening, the to say the least. Do I go? I'm so confused. Where's I, the owl? The owl's not here until nighttime. Oh, right, duh. <laughs> okay. Owls don't fly at daytime. Silly goober. What's this? That is, uh... You gotta be tiny. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you right. gotta shrink, play your instrument. Oh, yeah, okay, you play your instrument here, and then the owl appears at nighttime. So I have to play this at nighttime? Yep. Okay. Alright. Later, nerd. Okay. Ooh, we got a few things to do here. And then the, there was actually another part of that whole subject that, that I thought was interesting. Uh, yeah. So last year, or maybe the year before, I can't remember. Um, So there's another guy who's helped... So do you do who has helped oh, make games with Rare. Heard. Uh huh. He, uh... He helped make uh, Killer Instinct. Okay. The guy's name is Ken Lobb. Mm -hmm. Somebody was interviewing him... Uh, sometime a year or two ago, and somebody, of course, asked, like, are are you guys ever going to go back to your previous franchises that people love? Are you ever going to make sequels to those? And he said, yeah, someday. <laughs> and that that line just blew up on the internet for a day or two. People, like, 
on Facebook, in the news section, it said, This just in, Rare will go back to their classic games. And, like, people were just broadcasting it everywhere, like, Ken Lobb said that they will go back to their games someday. And when I first saw it, I was like, wait, 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 wait what? But upon actually clicking on it and reading it, I was like, oh. Yeah, like, yeah, Someday. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that was kind of disappointing. Correct, nerd. Yeah. All right, let's get this shit done with. Yeah, it just goes to show, not everything in the news is real or true. Yeah, you get dude. a lot of shit wrong. They said that my car is gonna run on nacho cheese. No, it's not. No, that'd be awesome. Would it? What if it was like uh, oh, shit. um, um, yeah, what's okay. it called? The Jetsons. Okay. Cars ran on vegetable oil. <gasps> Let's go, nerd. Let's do this, motherfucker. Uh, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you gotta follow the arrows. I think uh, you can just run regularly. Really? Yeah. Don't you run faster like this? Oh, I don't. I don't know. Whee! Can't tell what's going on. Uh. Oop! The fuck? Oh. <laughs> that guy has a clock on his back. Gotta itch my face. <laughs> Come back! Rabbit! <laughs> How dare you. I think he wanted to flip you the bird there. I probably do. <laughs> you can tell it's like a dude in his 20s voicing this rabbit. No! No, 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 that slowed me down! Yeah. Shit! <laughs> oh, wow. I cut some time there. Damn. Wait. Uh, wait. There. Oh, phew. It's like, oh. That was not obvious. Nice. Wow. That was incredibly easy. Yeah, baby! For a lumbering ape? <laughs> He's a fucking orangutan, dumbass. Wait, is a, an orangutan a type of ape? I don't know. Oh, you don't even get a golden banana yet. I'm not a monkey master. Ah, okay. This is the one. Okay, so I'm not gonna work on it no, yet. No, no, no. We, we just come okay. back later. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, in the comments, please tell me, are you sad that Rare, or at least Greg Nails, doesn't want to make Banjo 3E? I'm so sad. Despite promising it at the end of Banjo 2E? I'm not. Just you wait. Just you wait till Banjo 3E! <sighs> what, is that a line? Yeah, at the very end, when you when they're kicking around Grunty's skull, she's like, You'll pay for this, just you wait till Banjo 3E! Okay. Ever since that line. <sighs> yeah. Fans have been disappointed for years. Oh. oh, fuck, I remember what else I want to talk about. Dog, Halo is coming to fucking PC. Halo. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, Halo Reach, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, oh, and... Oh, the Master Chief Collection. And Halo, yeah. Master Chief Collection plus Reach. All the other ones. No, nah, plus Reach. Wow. They're just adding Reach to it, I think. Okay, yep. cool. So they're going to come out one at a time, but yeah, it's coming to PC. It's going to be sick. I thought you weren't that big a Halo fan. I'm not like a huge Halo fan, but I liked playing like uh, online and stuff. Some people were like insane into Halo. I was like a casual Halo fan, but I liked to play Halo. Yeah, I, I, the only time I ever played Halo was with uh, when I was with friends. Yeah, yeah. We played at your house. I definitely played more than you did. Like I played by myself quite a bit in like middle school and stuff okay um and early high school like i played a lot of halo reach i played a lot of halo 3 and then when i was younger i remember playing halo 2 like co-op campaign in halo 1 when i was probably too little to be playing halo <laughs> yeah so just nostalgia and stuff but yeah my favorites are probably halo 2 and halo 3 halo 3 online and then halo 2 co-op campaign yeah, Halo first came out in 2002, I believe. I think so. Yeah, I, I was nine when that game came out, but I think my mom was even still like, <laughs> like I yeah, don't know, it's, it might be well. too, it might be too inappropriate for you. But she also thought Super Smash Brothers might be too inappropriate for yeah. me. My mom was not the best judge, unfortunately. Well, it's kind of hard back then, like video games yeah, were. Yeah, kinda, yeah. What the? F oh, right, you're supposed to throw oranges. oranges on these guys. Huh? So you can't play your instrument, can you? I don't know, maybe you can, but I don't care. <laughs> <What? laughs> Not gonna get me, bitch, when you wag my tail and ass at you. What the fuck? Camera. You couldn't hit the side of a barn, bitch. What the fuck? The camera. Dude. I dare you to try again. Ah! Nice. 
Yes. That was so hard. <laughs> Ooh, Nelly. Oh, <laughs> that was an extremely God. long. Whoa. Oh, the seed. There's oh, the seed. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that was incredibly easy. I sure was. What level's next? Um, after this one? Yeah, is it Crystal Caves already? Yep, Crystal Caves. Whoa, shit. Yeah, there's only like seven legit levels in this game. Yeah. Yeah, whereas like Banjo has like nine or ten. Yeah, but starting on this level, they get a lot more complicated. Yeah. Again, true. I think the next one is the most complicated, but I have played Frankenstein Castle Boy the least by far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it's As like the it's last. by its official name. I mean, it's the last level, so yeah. people always memorize the first level the most mm -hmm. when they replay games. Okay. All right, so we're 16 minutes in. Should we next time on Royal Goobs? Um, sure. Next time we'll go night mode for the first time. Oh yeah. Bye-bye.